Hey guys, this is Chelsea again. This is Lab 6, Objective 1. I have a servo motor, and I have my Arduino here, and then I have my um, new circuit board, and then I have my 7.2 volt battery. And I'm going to um, have, a, have a code set up on Arduino, um, which will have the shaft move um, a certain amount of degrees, so it'll move 45 degrees or 90 degrees or 135 degrees. So my sketch looks like this, and we're going to include servo here. And the servo motor is on pin 10, which is here. And then the void loop, it has um, 45 and you're going to delay it one second, back to zero degrees, 90, 135 degrees, and it goes to 80 degrees. So when I plug it in, hundred and it'll keep repeating. This is objective two. So I, all I did was I added a potentiometer here and it's on pin zero here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to control the, the servo motor this time using the potentiometer like this. So wherever I turn it, it turns, right now it's all the way at the other side of the potentiometer. If I turn it back, it can, it does exactly as I tell it to do. Now my sketch looks like this. We're still including the servo, but we're adding the potentiometer here. And all I did was I took out all the servo main right and delays, and I made it into one. So I had to map here the potentiometer value and then the servo value. And analog read, of course, for potentiometer, and then the the um, variable for um, wherever I turn the potentiometer. This is objective three. So I have a DC motor this time, a VEX DC motor, and I added two push buttons. And what they're going to do is one's going to reverse it, and one's going to have the motor going forward. So uh, this is the forward motor. And this is the reverse motor. Okay, and I have the push button set up to pins 8 and 12, and the DC motor set up to pin 10 still. And my Arduino sketch looks like this. Pin mode 8, input pull up, pin mode 12. Those are the two push buttons. And I added um, pull up resistors, which are already inside of Arduino. And then I have my serial begin, which is opening my serial uh, monitor. And then I um, initiated um, digital read for both push buttons. And then I have my, is, my if else statement. If sensor forward is low, which means uh, if I push the button, it'll turn on and it'll go forward. Or if sensor reverse or push button reverse is low, if I push the button, then it'll go in reverse. And if both of these are false, then it'll go to else, and that means the motor is um, not on or the push buttons aren't being pushed. And then I have my um, print line for communication, so I'll go and open this up here, serial monitor. And right now it's reading one, zero, one. This is objective four. So I have two push buttons and I added a potentiometer and one push button is going to start the motor and the other push button is going to stop the motor while it's running and the potentiometer is going to control the speed of the motor so it'll look like this that's the speed and then that stops the, the motor and my sketch looks like this we're including servo we're um, calling
calling the potentiometer. Um, we're giving it a variable. So right now it's on output or input number zero. And then you come down to void setup. We're initializing the um, two push buttons in pins eight and 12. And we're initializing the DC motor in pin 10. And void loop, we're using digital read for the two push buttons, eight and 12. And I have a while statement, and I'm initializing the pot value for analog and analog read, and then the speed, which will be pot value zero to 1023, 90 and 140. And then I have DC motor write, which is almost like digital write, except it's for um, DC motor. And then I have my sensor F, which it, which means when one push button is pushed, the motor will run. And then to break the while loop, I have an if statement. If the other push button is pushed, then that breaks the, um, the while statement, which causes the motor to stop. And then I have um, DC right zero. So if the other push button is pushed, then DC motor will equal zero.